First, a developing story in Greensboro at this hour. Police say roads are closed right now after a crash on Highway 29 South. This is from Cone Boulevard to 16th Street. Police say the crash involved injuries. Drivers are encouraged to find an alternate route and use caution if you're traveling in that area tonight. There is no word yet on roads will clear. A Winston-Salem man accused of raping someone in the mid 1980s is now in police custody. 67 year old Reginald Lampkins was arrested Friday and charged with second degree rape. His bond was set at $200,000 and Winston-Salem police say the delay in arrest was because the victim withheld the information until they felt safe to speak out on it. New tonight, Kara Peters spoke to a local organization on what people should do if they find themselves in a similar situation. She joins us in studio with more. Kara. Yeah, Devontae, that's right. I spoke with Eliza's Helping Hands in Winston-Salem. It's an organization that focuses on serving those in the community impacted by domestic violence, sexual assault, human trafficking, or other violent crimes. They say whether an incident happened recently or in years past, there's resources you can utilize now to get help. Kenya Thornton is the agency director of Eliza's Helping Hands, an organization serving the community since 2015. She says nowadays there are plenty of options men and women can seek if they have questions surrounding domestic violence, sexual assault, or similar situations. And even if you just want to ask some questions, what happens legally? What happens if I don't have a place to go? I don't have any family here. How am I going to get there? What about my kids? What about date? Those are things that victims think about. Some resources Thornton mentioned includes domestic violence crisis hotlines, utilizing legal clinics and online resources that can provide a private safe space. If you are typing in information and your abuser's there, there are safe escape spots that you can get out of it quickly so that it doesn't come back and that your abuser doesn't see what you're doing. Thornton says while it may be difficult, listening to your gut regarding an incident that occurred is always the right way to go. There's always an avenue and a way to get those kinds of questions asked. But like I tell people um, and like we tell, you know, our victims and or survivors that, you know, if you are in a situation and you feel that strongly and it's telling you that you need to report and you need to do something about it, then you need to listen to that inner voice. If you are in need, you can call. It doesn't matter if it happened last year, five years ago, three years. You apparently have been thinking about it. As you just heard, there are resources available if you are a victim of sexual assault or rape. For Eliza's Helping Hands crisis, and the hotline is both English and Spanish, you can call the number on your screen. Any other resources you can find on our website tonight at WXII12.com. Devontae. Information, Kara, thank you. Elsewhere tonight, no bond for a man. Davidson County investigators have charged with child sex crimes. The sheriff's office says the investigation into Dylan Kearns started at the beginning of the month after speaking to the victim. Yesterday, deputies charged Kearns with 10 counts of statutory rape, forcible sex offense, and indecent liberties with the child. He's due in court November 28th.